What you guys got another video here for you on how to remove the background from a picture in PowerPoint. Now, when creating your professional uh, presentations in PowerPoint, sometimes you've got an image you might want to use, but the uh, background is in the way and you want to remove that picture from that background and use it in your presentation. So let me go ahead and show you how to do it. So first, you want to make sure you cover the whole background here. You can resize it afterwards, but that's important so we don't have any white or anything like that inside our image. Now, before we go for the removing process, I just want to show you up the top left hand side here. When you click on the image, you can see here we can uh, adjust the uh, corrections of the image. We can also adjust the color. This will do the brightness, contrast, uh, sharpness and things like that. And also the color. You can adjust all that here. Now, if the color is just a plain background, you can use the set transparent color and it will remove it for you but we're going to use the background remover tool which will basically uh, use a whole area of the image that goes magenta and this is the area that is going to be removed by using this built-in uh, tool here so you can see here mark area uh, to keep so this is the area we want to keep now if you look at the image here there has been a couple of mistakes by the tool that's uh, left this area out here so i'm just going to basically cover this with the mark area to keep and the stalk down here i'm just going to mark this up so it keeps that area and you can see here it's done a pretty good job at removing all of the background and uh, you can tidy this up a little bit more if you've got a bit more time but this is pretty good for a presentation that i might be using so once you're happy with your changes click on keep changes and the anything that's in magenta here Will be removed you can see the background has now been removed and we have the rows all on its own i can now resize this and use this in any of my presentations that i want now once you've resized your image to whatever size you like you can then change the background color to whatever you like you can also put gradients on here you can do whatever you like with your uh, type of image if you're creating some sort of uh, presentation this is going to be great for uh, doing that type of work. So let me just quickly show you the color backgrounds here. So let's just select a color fill here for the background so you can get a general idea of how good of the a job that this has done. You can see here, you can choose whatever color you like now. And again, you can also choose uh, any sort of uh, gradient colors if you want, maybe add a bit of light from the right or the left, if that's what you want to do. You can add gradients in here like so, and you can change the color to whatever you like here as well. Very, very useful. Uh, tool for when you're doing presentations inside PowerPoint. So again, remember, this is not really a photo editing suite. It's really just, uh, you know, a, a piece of software which you can use for presentation work, which really is powerful. So let's take a look at another image here, which is a bit more complex to see how it can cope with this type of image. So I'm going to drag another image in here because you're probably asking the question, what about if we've got a bit more of a busy background? How does it do at removing uh, the image from that background? So let's take a look. So I'm, getting, I'm just going to resize this so it covers the whole uh, back uh, slide here so we don't see any white or anything like that. And what I'm going to do here is remove background and it's filled the background with magenta. You can see here it's done a pretty good job, but there's a few petals and a stalk that's been left behind. So mark area to keep. And you can now go ahead and try to um, make this as tidy as you can and uh, choose what areas you want to keep. Now, again, this don't have to be flowers. It can be literally anything you like for your uh, presentations that you want to use these images for. And again, there's other ways of removing backgrounds as well in other applications like Photoshop and things like that. Now, you've always got the undo. If you make a mistake, you can undo that. And also you can uh, basically use the mark area to remove or mark area to keep. And that's basically what you need to do here. So let me see how we're going on here. So we're doing pretty well. We've just got a little teeny bit down there that I want to just select. And uh, that's looking pretty tidy here. Maybe a little teeny bit there. And you can go around and spend more time than what I'm doing here. But really, the job is to try and remove the background. And this is quite a busy background. So some are more complex than others. And some might be too impossible to do with this particular type of removing background process. So if I wanted to keep this bit here, I can add it in by just putting a little line here. And I think we're pretty much good to go here. That's just a little bit more fiddly work up the top. There we go. 
So once I'm happy, we can also hit the mark areas uh, to uh, remove. So if I wanted to go back and put this leaf back here, I can do that by just clicking on this and it will put it back to magenta to be removed from the image. I'm just going to undo that and I think we're going to select what we got here. Okay. Let me just do this little bit here and that's now done. So once we're happy, we can keep changes and uh, that should be good enough to keep. So let's go ahead with that. There we go. And all I need to do now is literally resize this to a size that I want to use. Now you might see a little teeny bit around the outside there just wasn't taking as much time with that, but it looks okay for a presentation that you want to do. Now you can use the correction areas here for brightness and other types of corrections. And you can also change the background on these and they look pretty good to me for something that's built into PowerPoint. So this would be good enough for what I need. And if I wanted to put in, for instance, a background photo of a field or something like that with these flowers in there, you could quite easily do that and uh, put these onto that background as well. Now the version of Office I'm using here is 2019. It also works in Office 2016. I don't think it goes back any further than that. I think that's as far as that remove tool goes back. But if you've got any versions from that time, then you should be able to do exactly what I've just showed you here. Anyway, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out. That's basically how you can remove the background from a picture in PowerPoint. Just want to say a big special thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.